So how do you plan your cross-country flights? Do you do it the old-fashioned way with a paper map? Maybe uh, you like calling for the weather? Me, I prefer to use the iPad and ForeFlight. I guess I'm getting lazy in my old age. So stick with us on Flywire as we sort through a short IFR IMC cross-country. Hi, I'm Scott Perdue, and today on Flywire, we're headed to Austin Berkston Airport, and it's a former USAF base, and now it's a really busy airline and bizjet destination. And I'm going to use ForeFlight for planning, checking the weather and NOTAMs, and use the DUATS feature uh, of, the, of the program, uh, which also which gives me the briefing, but it also gives me a record uh, of everything in the program as well as via email, and I really like that. I also uh, use the ForeFlight to file the flight plan, and they send me an email with the expected clearance as a heads up for what's coming, and you know, that's a real big bonus, especially if you've got changes. The computer gives you changes. And uh, I don't currently use the PDC, PDC feature of ForeFlight. Uh, I think it'd be intriguing. It's what we used in the airlines, and that was pretty cool. Uh, but I don't really need it these days. So let's check it out. So what I do with ForeFlight initially is uh, I check the departure, the en route, and the uh, destination weather. I'm really interested in what are my obstacles, you know, what bad weather. In this instance, we've got a th line of thunderstorms to the west. You know, just how fast is that moving? Is it going to be a factor to me? And in this case, mostly I've got low ceilings um, on my route uh, with um, um, visibility, a little bit of visibility hit and some rain. I don't know what the tops are. Um, I'll probably end up flying above it. So I think it's fairly flow, low clouds for me here. So I'm going to use the pack feature of ForeFlight, which is pretty cool because it updates all the NOTAMs and fuel prices and uh, weather and SIGMETs and TFRs, so I have the latest and greatest, and uh, then it's in, uh, it's in the program and I can use it in my flight. Um, it's really a pretty cool feature. Um, so it's almost finished with this, it takes a few minutes to get all this done, and, and by the way, if you don't have your uh, charts current, it'll pack the charts for your flight as well. I'm going to use the feature here on the right to uh, set the departure time, what my planned departure time is. I've checked the routes. I can check the procedures too, knowing what the winds are. Here we go. So, man, I've got headwinds going the whole way down. It's a bear. So, I don't know. Looks like uh, probably 5,000 is the best choice uh, for me today. And that's because I'm starting off going to the uh, east. And uh, I'm sure they'll change me uh, a little bit coming when I turn to the south. So there I've got my route. I've selected that. Um, I can put in the approach, but at this point I don't know what my approach is going to be. So I'm not going to preload that. Uh, take a look real quick and see what the ob is at uh, observation at Austin and uh, what the forecast is everywhere around there. Well, you know, for me, I like uh, uh, 800 to 1,000 feet, you know. <laughs> If I have to, I'll shoot uh, something down to men's, but I'm not crazy about that. Uh, do I really need to go would be a question that I ask myself. You know, or do I need to wait a little bit and it gets a little bit better? And uh, it looks like it's improving much better later in the day. So that's kind of how I, I plan. Now I'm going to send it to flights from here. Um, now I can do the briefing in the file. So I want to check and make sure that I've got everything lined up the way it should be. Uh, where I need it to be, and uh, and I can even load, preload in my thing there what the uh, signature references are. That's where I'm going to go. Um, usually, the, my bed better luck there than uh, Millionaire. So uh, we'll go to signature, and I can load that in, uh, and so I'll have an easy reference. I can just flip back to it, back to the flights, and boom, there I'm good to go. And I'm just going to scroll through this real fast because it's a very thorough briefing. I like it a lot better than talking to somebody on the phone. Uh, I've got it, and then I've got it in the program, and I'm, they're going to send me an email as well. So it goes very, very thorough and tells me what's active and what's not active, and you can see that right here. Uh, if it's green, it's uh, not active, and if it's red or uh, yellow, it's a warning and or it's active. So then it'll tell me what my uh, IFR... Uh, what kind of obstacles I have to deal with, visibility, ceilings, etc. Here's some pie reps. Um, these are all heavier than I am, and they're flying higher than I, I am, and they've encountered icing, which is interesting, but uh, once again, I'm not going to fly that high, so I'm not super worried about that. 
but like I said, this is the this is the best way to have the briefing and uh, to keep it under your fingertips uh, while you're in the air. If you're curious or you, or you want to read something uh, or you have a reference that you need to make, uh, it's all there. So it gives you a really good look at what the, uh, your weather that you're going to face is, for your trip is going to be. And that's uh, looks like 5,000 is the winds are screaming, but uh, it's probably better for me uh, to do that than uh, go higher or go even go lower. The winds are even worse. Take a real quick look at the notums. Like I said, it gives you just about everything you want to do. Arrival notums, uh, the destination, everything. Uh, it's really, really handy and uh, easy to reference later on, and I'm real fond of that. Um, it's one of the features I really like. So I don't have to. I don't have to read my own writing. <laughs> so uh, the stuff like that, uh, the in-read airspace notums. Well, I don't think there's any in-read airspace that's going to affect me, but it also talks about what the uh, center's uh, situation is. Any kind of notums that affect the centers. So I'm going to just flip through it real quick and uh, see what uh, if there's anything that affects me personally on this flight today, and uh, I really don't see anything. Uh, that's going to affect me. Okay, so FTC notums, yeah, okay, great. Here's the convective outlook, so there's some chance where I am, but it's uh, not a not a big one, so I, I think uh, those thunderstorms to the west are not going to be a factor for me for this flight today, so it's no big deal. So there we go. That's a quick look uh, through the uh, through that. And from here, I can go to the lower right, and I can just file it. Um, not sure if it's showing up in the in the screen right now, but on the lower right, I can just file. I want to make sure that my time is correct, and uh, all the things are in there. Uh, it's going to be an IKO flight plan now, so you got to have more than just an IG. You got to have uh, equipment on board as well, so you got to have that stuff. Um, so it's all looking good. A Waco Victor 17 to Syntax. Uh, I'm all good, so then I can just hit the button and file the flight plan. And uh, as I said earlier, what it, one of the really cool things it does, ForeFlight does, is it'll send you an email with, you, this will go into the system, and then the computer uh, will uh, figure out what you're, that's probably going to issue you for a uh, amended uh, uh, routing. So you'll get that on email, and I can plan for it instead of just being surprised. So I, I kind of like that feature as well. It also sends me that email, and I showed you earlier, the uh, uh, briefing. So I've got that, and I can keep that as a record. I can, you know, file that away in my mail someplace, and uh, I can keep that as a record. It's not a big problem. So finish all this, get ready to file. Okay, so um, we're good to go, and uh, file it. Boom, off it goes. Pretty cool. I really like that. Okay. So the next thing I do is I use the Bonanza Performance uh, Weight and Balance System to figure out uh, what my performance is going to be. I put in uh, here in the, uh, uh, on this page is uh, I'm going to do an IFR trip uh, from 50 Fox to KUS at 5,000 feet with an alternate. And I'd stick in there what kind of fuel I'm going to have and all this stuff. Uh, put in my weight, different weight in the seats, and what kind of cargo I'm carrying, stuff like that. And the, this is, uh, well, you know, I could do it the old-fashioned way, with the way I used to have to do it, either was wheel it or add it up and, and down on a uh, piece of paper, uh, but this is pretty cool, and, <laughs> and it uses all the POH, and the fellow who does this uh, does a great job, so I, I highly recommend this. He also does it for other things besides Bonanzas and Barons, so I can take a look here and see what my fuel burn is. What, the, what my CG is going to be on takeoff during the flight and landing is really cool. And then I can look at uh, what my performance is for the takeoff, what my role is going to be, and uh, what I can expect uh, my VX, VY, which, see my previous videos, I don't use those. I don't need to clear an obstacle, so I'm not going to actually use those. And I can also see what my landing is. So I actually just made this flight yesterday using this exact same procedure for flight, you know, getting the briefing doing the filing and all that stuff, but uh, I was dumb enough not to record any part of it. <laughs> Sorry about that, maybe next time. I've tried Garmin Pilot out as well as I fly, but I guess I'm just, uh, I just like ForeFlight the best, it just works for me. So what do you use and how do you like it? How does it work? Has it got any got better features and stuff like that? 
Let's figure it out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you like the video, hit subscribe and don't forget the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time on Flywire.